starting out the latest with Terry. So Brad is playing. Terry is not. Uh, Terry aggravated a tendon in his knee uh, that had been giving him some discomfort in the fourth quarter. I believe it was on that dunk. Um, was able to play through it. Uh, sore after the game. Uh, a little bit more sore today than expected. And then I was told right before we walked through that he's not available. Uh, any update in your parents' progress? Before? Yeah, Aaron had a great day today. He worked out. Uh, and we're going to see how he feels tomorrow. And then uh, I would say that Friday is unlikely. Uh, but beyond that, I'd be wanting to play in the days, days after that, depending on how he comes out of today's workout. Coach, I can ask you, is it tough to get back to that? They're really good. They're, um, you know, I think that, first of all, they, they just have a great way about them. They, they play with such such force offensively now with the ability to post different guys and then the way that they run off screens the way that they hit you on screens and then ultimately the way they shoot the ball with those guys it's it's a it's a really impressive team uh, obviously the fifth ranked offense in the league and, um, and a team that's been together and and really really understands how they want to play on both ends so heck of a challenge they're they're one of the hotter teams in the league and we're running into that quite often right now um, and that's part of it. So, you know, we know we have to play really well to have a chance. 48 minutes of guys in the post now. I think when, when they came off the bench before, they certainly have good players, Collins and Lillard, and Leonard, but they ended up stretching you more than um, Nurkic and Canner, where those guys just, you know, get you get the ball in the seams or get the ball in transition or get the ball in the block and go to work. Um, that creates another level of issues because, you know, there's not too many places to help off of um, when you're playing against this team. Right now. It's a really testament to uh, I just think we just need to, you know, and I, and I said this yesterday, we need to be a lot more solid than we were yesterday. We need to be a lot. Um, we're going to have to play with a lot more force, um, and that's only to have a chance to win. You know, I think this is a really good team to play against. How do you rank communication, Brad, in terms of the things you might be concerned about on defense? Um, yeah, I mean, I think it's, you always worry about every little thing, um, but, you know, you can communicate all you want, but if you're not back, it's hard to stop somebody, um, and there just has to be a reliability in, in doing our jobs well on every possession. We've shown ourselves more than capable of it. We've shown ourselves to be able to do it. Um, we just have to be able to do it more consistently. When you say force, does that translate to physical toughness? Is it as simple as that? For, force can be anything. The, the, when I was saying they, they execute with force, they, they really cut with great speed. They hit you on every screen. Um, and, you know, defensively, when you talk about force, you have to do your best to be low, be physical, um, without fouling, to navigate your way through those screens without getting hit, and to push catches out. Because if they are able to operate with the ball, you know, low on the court, they, they really they're really hard to guard. Right. You the third last like shortcuts. Yeah. Some of the players didn't seem to really tell us understand what that meant. Can you kind of expound on what you meant by shortcuts? Yeah, just what I was saying just just now. We all have a task to do on each possession, and we all have to do it. If, if there's five guys on a defensive possession. You know, we always say all five have to be completely engaged and locked into how we want to guard an action and, and how the best way to guard a four our team is. And certainly there's going to be mistakes made throughout the course of the game, throughout the course of the season. Great teams stop it after one time, right? And it doesn't happen again. Um, but, you know, we just had too many yesterday. Um, and, you know, I think it's, as, as we go back and, and look through that film, and obviously we don't have time to watch it other than individually with our guys as we play tonight. Um, you know, there were a lot of them, and uh, you know, there were a lot of contributing factors to last night's game. That was certainly a big one. Is there an issue with guys leaking out, rappers were leaking out after every miss? Is that issue? It's not an issue if you are back in front of them. It's an issue if they're by themselves and get to dunk it. So, um, no leak outs is the first transition bullet on the board every game. And, um, you know, we want to do a great job of running great offense, doing our job on the raise of the shot, and being back to set our defense. And, um, you know, again, I 
think I'd be a lot more concerned about it um, if I hadn't seen us do it well enough before. It's just a, a matter of making sure that we make that conscious decision to do it over and over again. Brad, these guys do demonstrate that ability to do it, and then they seem to lose focus. What what causes that loss of focus between first quarter being able to do it and second quarter not being able to do it? That's a good question. I mean, I think that that's something that, um, you know, if, if you want to advance um, your season past, um, you know, past the regular season or into the playoffs, into other rounds, those things have to be buttoned up and taken care of. You know, I always used to say that, especially in the college game. You know, if you gave up transition baskets in the NCAA tournament, you had no chance um, because the game was too short. And as possessions become more and more important as the year goes on and teams get better and better that you're playing against, you give them eight points where they're not contested, it's, it crushes you. Um, so bottom line is, is we have to do it for 48 minutes. And, uh, again, we've shown ourselves capable in different games of doing that. So, and it certainly should be something you're capable of doing. Thanks, Paul.